like whenever I see Jeffrey Tucker, I'm like, I I initially thought he was on my team. I thought he was part of the family. You know, I was I thought he was gay, and I thought he was like a prominent gay libertarian, and I was so happy about that. And then as I found out later, I guess through the grapevine, I never asked him point blank, but uh, he appears to be straight, or at least he walks around with some young woman, some what I view to be a beard, and I, it's sad to me. It's like we, we just got to get him some uh, MDMA. Get to like, the bottom of this. It's none of my business, but it is something I think about, and I'm going to be honest about that. Your business, right? Derek, I got it. I thought the same thing. I thought for sure this is a gay guy. Like this is a really prominent gay libertarian, and that's awesome. And then, like you, I, people were telling me, no, no, he's he's not gay. And I'm like, what? <clears throat> I did the same thing. But though, I also thought he was super young. I thought he was way younger than he is. So I don't know what that says. How old is he? I I don't know. But not. I thought he was like late thirties when I first. It, it was weird. It might be some sort of magical <laughs> mask thing. Jeffrey Tucker, fuckable. And I'm I'm going to throw down with a definite yes. I'm going to say Jeffrey Tucker is uh, an example that we should all follow, should all aim to be. He wears a bow tie for one. He's uh, always well-groomed. He's the best-dressed guy in any room and uh, very well-spoken on top of it. So, yeah, fuckable. He's a wood bang. Wood bang. All right. Hey, uh, bang, officially. Welcome, Stephen. You've, you've joined us at just the right time. The topic Hello. on the table is Jeffrey Tucker fuckable or not. Oh, yeah. I was thinking about this, and I'm pretty sure if you got his leg up on a table, um, it would be totally fuckable, yeah. Mm -hmm. I think he worked <laughs> out. I've seen pictures of him in a pool. He also wore a bow tie. In the pool? Yeah. Wow. <laughs> he was See, in I don't I don't personally think that I would that I would fuck him, but I did, I have to admit, have a uh, a sexual dream about uh Jeffrey Tucker. No way. Yeah, yeah. I'm not How even fucking around. It, 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 like like stuff happened. And I, in in the dream, it was kind of confusing because I'm not really like into that. I, uh, uh, you know, uh, but but it was it was it was an interesting experience, and I remember thinking in the dream like this is kind of weird, but but I'm not saying no. It, it certainly wasn't rape, uh, dream rape. Um, well, Joe, we have a very special caller on the line. Uh, Skype caller, go ahead. Yes. Uh, hello. This is uh, Dr. Jeffrey Tucker. <laughs> oh, hear me loud and clear. Jeffrey Tucker. Well. Yes. Uh, excuse what me. What an sir. honor. <laughs> yes. Thank you. I heard you speaking about me earlier in the show, and uh, I just have to set the record straight once and for all. Please, yes. Uh, please, sir. Uh, you know, forgive me for not asking you point blank and then bringing this to the radio. I, I just. I never thought I would get an answer from you in person. Yes, well, you know, I'm disappointed, Mr. J, but uh, I, I, you know, I, this is an important opportunity here to set the record straight about a very important issue to the liberty community at large. So, and the issue is my heterosexuality. That's right. So you're going to set the record straight, right? You're gay. Uh, no. No. <laughs> I'm afraid not. No, that would be a huge disappointment. To Is my it because wife. you're Catholic? Listen, Catholicism <laughs> has nothing to do with it. I Are you only gay my, on Sundays? My penis points directly towards females. This is Professor Jeffrey Tucker. 